Welcome to the Ira A. Fulton Schools of Engineering at Arizona State University. Our college houses the undergraduate and graduate degree programs for engineering, computer science, and a majority of the technology programs that are offered at ASU. This presentation will explore the computer science degree program with a concentration in cybersecurity. ASU has four campuses that span the Phoenix metro area, and the Fulton Schools of Engineering are located on two of those, the Tempe campus and the Polytechnic campus. The computer science degree program is located at the Tempe campus, but all campuses are open to all students regardless of where their program is located. We offer a free inter-campus shuttle for our students so that they can explore courses, student orgs, activities, and resources at any campus. At Fulton, we offer 25 undergraduate programs, which provides a lot of choice and flexibility in finding the program that fits for you. We are called the Fulton Schools of Engineering because we categorize our degree programs into six schools, which are organized by theme and location. The first five schools from left to right are housed at the Tempe campus, and the Polytechnic School is housed at the Polytechnic campus. Our computer science students belong to the School of Computing, Informatics, and Decision Systems Engineering, which you will see towards the middle of the infographic. Each school has its own director, affiliated faculty, and advising unit, so as to provide greater support and specific guidance to the students within that school. ASU and Fulton have direct admission, meaning when students apply, they apply directly to the degree program they want to pursue. As long as a student meets the admissions criteria for their program of interest, they are admitted. It is important to note that some of our degree programs, including computer science, have slightly higher admissions criteria than the general university requirements. For a comprehensive list of admissions criteria, you can visit the Fulton Schools of Engineering website at engineering.asu.edu. Students in the computer science program are located at the Tempe campus, which is both their academic and residential home. First year freshmen are expected to live on campus their first year, and our computer science students are currently registering for housing in the Tooker House. Tooker House is the residential hall for all of the engineering and computer science disciplines, and we are also expanding to University House for the 2020-2021 academic year. Students that are a part of Barrett the Honors College live in Barrett Housing, but are given the opportunity to live on an engineering-specific floor if they choose. Computer science majors at Fulton can choose to pursue a concentration in cybersecurity. Cybersecurity is the practice of protecting systems, networks, and programs from digital attacks. These cyber attacks are usually aimed at accessing, changing, or destroying sensitive information, extorting money from users, or interrupting normal business processes. Computer scientists work in a variety of capacities, ranging from computer and software design to development of information technologies. Their jobs are often distinguished by the high level of theoretical expertise they apply to solving complex problems. The goal of the cybersecurity concentration is to provide students the knowledge, skills, and the advanced development capability in science and engineering for cybersecurity, including computer and network security, software security, data and information security, applied cryptography, and computer forensics. The future of cybersecurity is bright. This is a rapidly growing field with a 28% projected increase in jobs through 2026. Having a concentration in cybersecurity could be the edge you are looking for when it comes to applying for a job after college. The guiding document for all majors is called the Major Map. This document can be found online on the SIDSI website, but what you see on the slide is a simplified version that shows you what courses you would take and the suggested order of when you would take them. Students in computer science begin with calculus and a course on the principles of programming Java. The second year in this program involves further coursework in programming languages, as well as data structures and algorithms. Students typically begin their concentration in either software engineering or cybersecurity their junior year. Students must take all three of the following cybersecurity courses for this concentration, computer system security, computer network security, and computer and network forensics. Students must also choose one of the following three elective courses, software analysis and design, introduction to human computer interaction, or introduction to artificial intelligence. 
Students will need to contact their advisor to add the concentration and to discuss the requirements. Students will then be placed into a new plan code that corresponds with the chosen concentration, and the concentration will appear on the transcript once graduation requirements are met. Providing resources for success is what ASU does best. One of our greatest resources is plentiful, free tutoring. We have our own tutoring center for SIDSI students. The center is available every day of the week and provides tutoring all the way into junior year classes. Our tutors are there to help support learning. These are high performing students that will help with general subject information, but also teach from the perspective of a student that recently experienced learning that topic. ASU Center for Cybersecurity and Digital Forensics is proud to offer the NSF CyberCorps Scholarship for Service Program. This program provides scholarships to qualified students to address the growing need for federal information assurance professionals in order to protect the government's critical information infrastructure. Scholarship winners receive full-time tuition and education-related fees for up to two years. To be eligible for consideration for the scholarship, students must meet all of the following requirements be a United States citizen and permanent resident, and current or prospective full-time on-campus computer science or computer systems engineering student with a grade point average of at least 3.25. Prospective students may apply for the scholarship simultaneously with your admission into a CS or CSE program with a cybersecurity concentration at ASU. Scholarship recipients must agree to work immediately follow, following graduation for the federal government or a state, local, or tribe government in a position related to cybersecurity for a period equal to the length of the scholarship or one year, whichever is longer. They must also participate in government internship positions in the summers between the years of the scholarship study. To learn more, please visit globalsecurity.asu.edu. Another unique resource is our Fulton Career Center. This office provides career support for our students throughout their time at ASU. For SIDSI students, this starts their first semester. At the Career Exploration Night, our first year students have the opportunity to mix and mingle with industry leaders. They have the unique chance to tap into the knowledge of these professionals and get insight as they explore their majors. In SIDSI, we pride ourselves in our commitment to students and their success. To accomplish this, we have a team of first-year advisors ready to help students with the transition to the university. These advisors not only meet with students in our offices, but also visit students in their ASU 101 courses. The goal of this team is to provide student-centered support and advising. Hi everyone, my name is Enrique. I am a computer science major here at ASU. Uh, I'm also minoring in business. I'm in my second to last semester, so I'll be graduating in the fall of 2020. And I also have um, started my master's with ASU's 4 plus 1 program. So I should be graduating with my master's in the fall of 2021. And I'm here to tell you guys a little bit about why I chose my major and uh, my experience throughout my time here. So First off, unlike some other majors where you might ha kind of have to decide what you want to do with your life or when you decide what major you want to do, uh, computer science pretty much still allows you to go into any possible field. Uh, technology is such a big thing nowadays that uh, one of the big things for me was keeping my, all my doors open and keeping possibilities uh, open for as long as I possibly could. So with my computer science degree, I can pretty much go into any field I want and, and find myself useful and, and be able to apply my skills. Um, and the cool thing about computer science, specifically at ASU, uh, is that it's still under the engineering schools. And so I'm still getting the engineering aspect of it and the um, design processes and, and the problem solving and all of that, uh, as opposed to some other schools that I considered that had computer science in like their lives or in their you know, sciences uh, departments. Um, so I think that being with the Fulton schools provides us with a whole lot more resources to take advantage of. Um, and so during my time here at ASU, I've been here for three, almost three years now. Um, I've gotten involved in a whole bunch of things, uh, including you can see on the slide, um, 
ethics, engineering projects, and community service. Um, so that was not necessarily related to computer science, which gave me a chance to explore fields outside of CS. Um, and I joined that very much. Uh, I was involved in a study abroad program. So I actually went to study counterterrorism in Israel. And I kind of took the approach of seeing how that applies to cybersecurity specifically, because that's one of the things that I'm really interested in. Um, I'm also involved in Fulton Ambassadors. Um, I have, you know, I work on campus. And so I've gotten pretty involved here at ASU and, and uh, outside of school, but also in school. So I've taken most of the upper division um, computer science uh, courses that were required to. And so now I'm in my last year and I'm pretty much taking all electives. Uh, and that's one really cool thing. Um, during your last year, you pretty much get to choose what you want to study. And so I'm focusing a whole lot on cybersecurity because that's what I'm into. Um, I've taken everything from networking classes to network security to system security to, um, you know, all, all sorts of classes. And I encourage you to go and explore the ASC course catalog uh, to see what what subjects would be available to you and what interests you. Um, it really is all encompassing and there's there's classes for every every interest um and so now that you know i'm almost done with my degree uh looking forward um asu has opened a whole bunch of opportunities for me so this upcoming summer 2020 i'll be doing an internship with amazon actually um i'll be doing a software development internship for them and so that's that's really cool and and i met with my career through one of asu's career fairs and it just sort of evolved from there. So that's a door that wouldn't necessarily have been open if I wasn't if I wasn't here and I wasn't involved and in going to tell the career fairs. Um, and so, you know, that's one example of the many, many opportunities and, and things that ASU has to offer. And so I really think that I am more than, than pleased with my experience here. And I think that it's so worth it. And it has been amazing and beyond any of my expectations. And so I highly encourage you, if you have any questions to reach out, um, you know, there's resources available to answer all your questions and we're here for you and good luck. Hi, my name is CJ Sturgis. I'm currently a sophomore on the Tempe campus studying computer science with a concentration in cybersecurity, as well as a minor in technological entrepreneurship and management. I chose computer science as my major because ever since I was young, I knew I wanted to work with computers. I personally enjoy software development as well as the theory behind computing, so computer science happened to be a natural fit for me. As for my concentration, I chose cybersecurity as it's currently a highly sought after skill set to have, and in my opinion, it's a lot of fun. I also recently opted to add a minor in technological entrepreneurship and management because while I appreciate the science and theory intensive foundations of my major, I find that it's important to have some business background and seeing as this minor is taught in collaboration with WP Carey, our business school here at ASU, I thought this was the perfect opportunity to help round myself out as an employee and as a learner. As for some of the courses that I've enjoyed the most during my time here, the first year class FSC 100 immediately comes to mind. It was an incredibly fun and practical class. That class centered around a semester-long project based on real-world applications, and we got to start that project on day one of the class. As a computer science student, our group was tasked to build a model handicap-accessible autonomous vehicle using LEGO, which we completely programmed from the ground up. The best part of this project was that our final for the class was to literally set our car down in the maze and press go. We watched as it successfully completed the maze, collecting a LEGO person in the middle and taking them to the end. While this class was incredibly fun, it also helped establish transferable job skills. During the course of the semester, we were exposed to different programming languages and business tools that helped us complete our project, as well as expose us to tools we would use in the real world. Two of my other favorite classes were CSE 110 and 205. Uh, these are two first year classes that teach the principles of Java programming. I came into college with some Java background, but these classes really helped me polish my understanding, and they both included final projects that you can actually put on your resume. Outside of the academics of those classes, I actually met most of my closest friends through those three courses I just mentioned. That brings me to some of the programs I'm involved with. Aside from Fulton Ambassadors, which allows me to interact with prospective engineering students such as yourselves, I'm also involved with SunHacks, a unique student-led hackathon here on campus. I'm an organizer with them, so I help plan the event throughout the year leading up to it, 
and I help run and manage the event during the 72 hours that it runs. It's a super fun, although exhausting experience, and I highly encourage you to check us out. I'm also in the Barrett Honors College here, which is a great way of connecting with other honors students who are dedicated to their education, as well as getting connected with internships and opportunities off campus, such as my internship with Intel currently. As for on-campus experiences, I'm currently a student worker for the SIDZ Engineering School, where I'm a teaching aide and grader for multiple classes, including CSE 110, the class I mentioned earlier, and ASU 101, which is also another first year class. All in all, I'm extremely glad I chose ASU as my college and computer science as my major. To wrap up, something I always like to share is that before choosing ASU, I attended tours at several other colleges. And while there are certainly other colleges with engineering programs as strong as ASU's, ASU was the first and only college I visited where I actually felt connected and valued immediately. On my tour, just the first tour I ever took here at ASU, I felt like I was already a student here. And I can definitely say that that sense of community and family that was shared with me so early on is still continued by all the staff and students here today. Thank you for taking this time to explore the computer science program with the Ira A. Fulton Schools of Engineering. If you have any questions about applying to Fulton, please contact us at fultonschools at asu.edu. If you have any specific questions about the computer science program, please contact us at cidse at asu.edu.